Is ACH part of the Global Force Wrestling roster? I got the inside scoop. This is BQ when I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? Now, there has been much speculation regarding ACH after it is reported that he had a tryout with Global Force Wrestling several months ago. He also made his debut in the Super X Cup and made it all the way to, I believe, the semifinals, if I remember correctly. Many of you have wondered, is ACH a part of the Global Force Wrestling roster? Is he a part of the X Division moving forward? I have the inside scoop. I spoke to ACH personally at an indie show here in my area a couple weeks ago. And at this indie show, I wore my Super X Cup shirt. I did it purposely so that I could break the ice with him when I met him at the meet and greet. And I actually exchanged an email with him earlier in the day so he was already familiar with who I was. So I wore my Super X Cup shirt. When he saw it, he said, hey, nice shirt. We exchanged a chuckle. You know how it is. So after breaking the ice for a little bit, chatting with him, I said I was really happy to see him on Impact. And is that your only appearance or are we going to see you again in the future? What ACH said to me, they know he is not a part of the roster, but that he was supposed to be back for this current set of tapings in leading up to Bound for Glory. Now we know that Anthem was cutting some costs and didn't bring the whole roster over. But yes, from his mouth, he said he was supposed to be at this set of tapings. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, perhaps there are some plans in the future for him. But he said right now everything is up in the air and that he is a free agent. But it seems like he's really open to coming back to the company. It's just that right now nothing is official. So if you're curious about ACH, and I would imagine Sammy Guevara fits in that as well, there's probably nothing official going on. But you never know after Bound for Glory what could happen. I do want to say he wrestled as a heel in this match. He still kind of had the cheesy smile gimmick and all that. But I can tell you as a heel, he worked really, really well. He was very funny and entertaining as far as the thing he was shouting at his opponent. He was going up against a guy named Mike Outlaw, who is a local wrestler who is very popular. So yes, ACH went in as the heel. But he did a great job. He won the match, and then afterwards he cut a tremendous promo thanking everyone for being there. Because there is a company local that Mike Elgin runs that's called Glory Pro. And it's very popular. They easily do three to 400 people. But the last show I went to, they actually did 600. So it's a very popular promotion. And NWL, where the match, the uh, promotion that I went to, kind of struggles. You know, they did, uh, they probably had 200 people there. But for me, it was a much more family friendly show. And I enjoyed it a lot more than when I go to Gl Glory Pro. But with that being said, he thanked people for coming out because he knows there's other competition in the area and there's no there's other options as far as wrestling and other options of what people could have been doing that night. That was the night of the Mayweather and McGregor fight and people were there watching professional wrestling. So I thought ACH was really, really cool. He was a very nice guy. Hopefully we do see him on Impact soon. And just to give you some clarification on NWL here in St. Louis, that is the promotion that Marty Bell works for. So if you've seen her... Uh, talk about it on Twitter and mainly on Facebook. That is a promotion that uh, she works for. She kind of does, I don't know exactly what she does to be totally honest with you, but she was there and uh, I talked with her a little bit. Sienna shot me a message or uh, shot me a message for her and I went and showed her my phone and we had a good time, good laugh. So I never know, maybe I'll get Marty Bell on the show. We'll see. This is BQ. Please hit the subscribe button. We are talking Global Force Wrestling just about each and every day.